I was excited to see Gordon Ramsay announce he is going vegan this week. I'm turning vegan. For lunch only, but he clearly heard the challenge and released the video in time for the for the first release of the challenge. So go and check his video out up there in the corner. Now this week we are focusing on just one evening meal. We usually eat a bit more protein at this time of the day, so I'm going to share a highly nutritious plant-based alternative to an easy weeknight classic, the spag bog. Yes, you might know it as spaghetti bolognese. This is Plant Your Life, a channel dedicated to helping you eat more plants. It's all about learning how to replace animal products with plant-based options that are delicious and highly nutritious in your regular diet, just so you can achieve your goals of improving your health, reducing your eco footprint, or eating with a clear conscience. If you are new here, maybe check out the channel introduction over here and you can start the challenge from the beginning by getting a free email every week. This is week number four. So let's get into it. How did you go with the lunch prep? Did you manage to get at least a couple of lunches made for the week? Have you found a good dairy milk alternative from week one? In the comments, tell me how your experience has gone so far. You're doing great work just by watching and small steps make a sustained change which is what you're aiming for, right? Now at this point, I'm going to ask you to help the channel and to share the plant-based movement with more people. If you click the like button now, then more videos like this will come to you and more people like you will see this video, which is exactly what we want. So let's get into it. This week, we are going to talk about replacing a really easy weekday meal. In fact, this shift is so easy, you and your family won't even notice that you've made the shift. Why is that, you might ask? Because you just get a plant-based minced instead of the animal-based one. Yep, it's so easy, introducing this plant-based mince. Check it out. I'm sure your supermarket has one that's similar. I've tried so many of them, and my favorite is this one. It's naked mince without the moo. It's from the UK, and you, as far as I'm aware, you can only get it at a couple of different supermarkets. It's a soy-based product, and it's packed with whole proteins and has all of the essential amino acids built in, so you've got no problems there. Now, we started with the corn one, which is made from a mycoprotein. It's basically a type of mushroom or fungus. This one's pretty good. It's worth a go too, and it's my second choice if you have an issue with soy-based products. By the way, I was once worried about eating too much soy too. I got convinced by this whole stack of evidence. This video, and I'm going to put a link in the description, sums it up really nicely. Basically telling you that the estrogen in soy is actually phytoestrogen, and it's completely different from the estrogen produced by the female body, which is the one that people get worried about. And in fact, You'll see eating soy actually reduces your chance of getting cancer. How awesome is that? So here's the little table to compare some of the macros between beef mince and the naked mince. You'll see beef has a fat content of nearly 15 grams, three times as much as the naked mince. The saturated fat content's almost 7%. It's so high. This is per 100 grams, so each number is a, is a percentage, essentially. Your salt and sugar are there. I get that. That is a problem because, you know, you need a max of two grams of salt per day per person. Protein, which is the thing that people think that they're getting from animal products, in the naked mints, you're getting 20 grams. In the beef, it's only 21. Of real whole proteins. It doesn't really make that much difference in your proteins, you're still getting all of the essential amino acids that you need when you're eating the plant-based protein. So all you need to do this week is reach for the plant-based mince instead of the cow one. That's this week's challenge. It's so easy. 
Maybe it is for a bolognese or a chili. Either way, this works a treat. So last week, you were up to 46% or 10 meals or 52% if you got to 11. By changing that weekend lunch to a plant-based option, you would have been at 52. And this week, by adding this extra one or two meals, you're going to 57% or even 61 if you do two. Well done. Amazing effort. So that is it for this week. Thanks so much for the early like. It really helps the channel and spreads the word to more people like you. If you're new here, you might consider subscribing to the channel. That'd be really helpful too. You can check out the series introduction. The link is still up here or in the description. You can get a free email every week. Or you can go to plantyourlife.fun and just put your email straight in and I'll send you all the series of series one from the beginning. And there's nothing else to it. If you know someone that wants to increase their plant intake, then please share this video with them. Now, over to you. Tell me below, what is your favorite plant-based mints? Which one do you get in your local supermarket? Which ones have you tried? Which one works for you? Maybe you've been having some struggles. Tell me about them there in the comments below. What are you having issues with? Maybe there's a member of the family that just refuses to come across with you. So let me try and help you get across those. Bring on more plants into your life. That's it for this week. So I'll see you later. Have a great day.